So they are orientated to the phase I just selected during the selection process. And a phase that is selected already defined a wall to which you know, uh, those graph tips should be, um, should be added, right? This is, this is how, how it can be used for, for precast. And um, yeah, let me go back to the previous folder, live demo. I'm going to show you a really simple script that creates rebus, a few rebus uh, for selected elements. I would like to show you <laughs> its, its DNA, actually, how, it is, how the script is organized. So take a look. This looks pretty familiar, right? So this is the selection part. Once you have this selection part defined, you need to retrieve geometrical data. So I'm taking here my elements, and I'm retrieving all necessary information I need to have um, to, continue, to continue design of my rebus and dyno environment. So I have... I have planes of these selection elements. I have their curves. I have their uh, corner points. I have m even more, you know, uh, outputs here to be ready to use in my uh, next nodes to create um, dynamo geometry for rebus. This particular node uh, creates stair straight rebars around openings. So take a look. These outputs, they correspond, you know, they, they are ready to be used with, with these inputs, right? And the next step shows you how you, how you leverage, you know, geometry that was created in Dynamo to create real Revit rebounds based on these uh, dynamo curves, right? This is just a singular rebar, and I can create a set. A set is created, and like I was saying, at the end, I can really easily control visibility of my rebars. So, with that being said, let me run this simple script, select an element, finish, and there we go. Right? Rebars were added. F just a few nodes, and I was able to create my st uh, straight rebars. The, the remaining part of the script, uh, you saw, you, uh, the final script you, you, you saw in action, looks, the pattern is exactly the same. You need to do the same thing for your stirrups, diagonal bars, and, uh, and that's it. It's super to be is used with, with the structural design. Uh, package. Uh, the package contains this particular example. I'm using metric version here, but this particular example in the in the extra folder contains also imperial version for you to to give a try with this. Uh, okay. So let me open. And um, visibility, so we already mentioned a few times about visibility of rebounds, and uh, you know how changing visibility settings in Revit can be, can be annoying and time consuming, because it's, it's something that is, it can't be set up in viewer, it can't be set up for category, it's an instance parameter, right? So every single time I create a, some rebars and I want to visualize them, I need to change these settings, right? So I need to select my elements, filter them, find the right di di dialog, fi find the right, you know, check boxes. So many steps. And then I copy my designs and I'm losing all my settings because I need to reselect this once again, once again. So you, 